Google Cloud Run allows you to, to deploy cont um, containerized applications, which just means applications that have been compiled into container images. So it allows you run them. All right, so we're in my GCP account. I'm going to create a new project. So that way we can all be on the same page. Uh, we would create a new project. So in case you don't already have one, just create a new project. And I'm going to just name this Books API. Books API. Um, and we have to take note of our, of our ID because we would be using that. Um, so I think I could have also created this using the GCP command tool. And I think, no, I think actually you would have to install the GCP command tool um, to follow along with this. So we would switch to our books API, right? And let's just come over to our command line and we would, we would say G cloud, um, config sets. So we would paste the project ID that we took over from there and we would come back to this in a little bit i think i, I hope i didn't make a mistake <clears throat> um yeah i think i'll have to like check sets okay set project Okay, so I use the GCP command to set my project to the new project ID. Um, if you don't have access to this, you may have to log in um, using GCP Authenticate or something like that. I think so. Um, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but download the gcp command line tool ensure you are properly authenticated come to your console create your project or you could have created it with the command line tool as well but i'm not quite sure how to do that i'm sure all i have to do is just um create a new project and put the project name but so we have this right so what we will do is i would come here um and we'll scroll down all the way to um yes our container registry so we would come into this tool and this is where our images would be stored but before we store our images we need to enable this api and by default it's not enabled right so we're going to enable it okay so this has been activated so um the name of our image tag i would have to like confirm that guys so The first thing we'll do is, let me just check it again. Images. Okay, yeah, it's called getting started. So we'll say Docker tag getting started, which is the name of our image. Then space GCR or GRC, which is our host. So G, GCR.io um, 
slash project ID which we have over here so let's just get our project ID so our project ID is this slash um, the name of the image so we would name it book server book server so let me bring this up so you can see it so yeah so we are tagging the previous image that we created with our GCR tags so let's just do that okay image I so yeah so like you have to recall to use the um, version one <clears throat> getting started getting started so it's been tagged so if we go to docker image so images we can see our grc here <clears throat> so it's the same image id but we give it a different tag this tag would allow us to upload it into gcp so the next thing we will do is after we have tagged it, we can then say docker push, the host name, the ID, and the name of our image. So that's exactly what we will do. So we, we, we already have all this stuff here because that's the same thing we use for our tag. So let's just clear. So we'll say docker push and the host name, <coughs> our ID, and the last thing is the name of the image. So let's push that. So at this point, it would require you to sign in to your account. So docker can get access to push to your um gcp account but i have already logged in so that's why it can push it so yeah essentially all we're doing is we're pushing our image to the image registry on our gcp accounts right um Alright guys, so we have it that's finally pushed. It took a pretty long time. I had to like skip through it. But once it's pushed, you would receive this, you know, confirmation. And if you check your repository, um, if we refresh, let's let's refresh this. We should we should see the repository here. Um, so yeah, as we can see, if we go inside it. <clears throat> you can see our image so this is our image you can see the size and you can see it was just uploaded now right so this is the year we use the gcl slash our um our project id then the name of the the name we want to use as the image name right so we have our image so we can go over to the next step which is to deploy on cloud run so you can see this is a simple process of how to to deploy and service name is the name of the cloud run service you wish to deploy it on so you can use any name you want and the image name has to be the name of your image so we we would use the image name we use here which is book server that's the name of our image um so let's just copy this actually and um, we're going to come back and paste it in our line actually let's clear everything first let's clear 
so everything can be cleared. Um, typo. All right, so we're gonna paste that again, and we're going to change this image name to book server. And, and we'll, we'll add a few other flags. Actually, I don't think that's the image name, right? Yeah. So the, the, the image name is book. Then we will also name our service book server. It's, they don't have to have the same name. Well, I'm using the same name just for simplicity six. So we need to add a few tags. So if we go over to the next page, we can see the tags that we um, we can add to this um, to this command, right? So so we need to add a few like tags to it. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my internet. It's being pretty slow. I think it's my computer. Um, all right, so that's running. So we need to add, so you, you can see there's so many things we can possibly add here, but we need to set the port cause on the Golang code, on my specific Golang code, I'm not using port 8080, I'm using port 8090. So I need to change the, the default port and I also have to, declare that this cloud run would be fully managed because um, I think it requires you to add that. So we're going to say ports. So first thing we're going to say is um, platform and we're going to say managed and we're going to say ports. I'm going to say 8C9C and I think that's good. <clears throat> um, I think that's what we'll use. I think every other thing would be um, the default and uh, let's see if that works. I think it's probably going to give me an error but okay so it says I don't have cloud run enabled. Do I want to enable it? Right so I would enable it and we try. So this is, you know, one of the advantages of using the Google Cloud command. It kind of makes it easy. Oh yeah, I, 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 so I didn't set the region. I wanted this to run. I should have added that to the build tags but I didn't so but now it's asking me to so I'll just click on US 1 so I'll just click on 27 US 1 so it's asking me if I want to allow on unauthenticated calls to that instance and I would say yes because it's a public endpoint um what's wrong here oh okay 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 i didn't put in the path correctly so i would do that i think i have to put in the full path link okay so i would use the full link so i think i need to use this here and i would also declare the region so i don't have to do that twice um let's see i know you guys can't see that so space so we're going to add um the region and for the region um I think these are the options, right? So we'll just click US, US Central one. And let's just paste that here. And let's run. Um, so this should, this should work. So allow on, um, on authentications. Yes. 
so it's running um, I'm sure you guys can't see this but it's running okay looks like it's done and it showed us the URL for the service so if we click on that um, page not found obviously but we need to go check stash books and you can see we see all our books so if we come back to our GCP and we go to the options and we go to cloud run where is, where is that where is that cloud run you would see the our service instance running um, so yeah you can see it everything looks good green check mark and if you made it this far you have officially def deployed your first cloud run service um, running on Google Cloud so this is how easy it is now everything I just showed you guys there's a way to automate every single thing and I would create another video showing how to automate this process so if you want to see that hit a like and share with anybody who you think would like this and yeah hope you have fun deploying your code and hope you build something amazing thanks for watching the video and I'll talk to you later bye